I'm going to put together some snippets of working with Azek on a porch to try to explain how working with Azek is pretty easy and pretty nice in a lot of ways. First of all, here's the porch so far with the Azek boards, deck boards. in the trim around the bottom and some uh, music trim along the top let's do a little sanding here and give you a little demonstration of working with music here as you can see there's some some discoloration scratches dirt and the little plugs that you see um, to cover the nail or the screw holes let's just do a little sanding It's even hard to see where some of the plugs are after you get done sanding it. Sand's really easy. I'm using 120 grit and a plug that popped out on me here, but they pound back in pretty easy. If you have some areas where you want to attach two boards together or some spacing problems, there's a product called Durabond, I believe it is, from Durafast. It's recommended for ASIC. Um, works pretty well. Uh, except we've saved all of that type of work for the end because you only get one mixing nozzle. It's a two-part, and you only get one mixing nozzle when you buy it. It's pretty expensive, but uh, we'll see how it works out. Hopefully it'll work out well. And again, this is Azek decking also, and when you install it, you obviously want the, the rough side up for traction purposes, but I preferred the soft side. There's two sides for the Azek trim. One is a rough weathered finish, and the other is a, a smooth finish. I preferred the smooth, or what I call the soft side for all the trim. Well, hopefully it'll give you some ideas. This is the screw that is used for the decking. It's a little different than the ones used for the trim, but not much. It's got some extra threads. I think it's at the bottom. And the little plugs go in the decking. They're the, they, you get them the same color as the decking, but this is the trim plugs. It's um, it doesn't look like it, it's hard to tell, but they're narrower at the bottom, so there is only one way for them to go in. And if you try putting them in the other way, they, they'll you'll have a hard time getting it to fit. But those are little plastic plugs for ASIC. I should also mention that for the vertical support beams, ASIC makes a, a column wrap that goes around the support beams. And I haven't put that on yet, obviously, but uh, 
that's what it'll be used for the columns to wrap the the wood at the for the three columns in the front here. And I should also mention one other thing, the Ajax is not only easy to sand, but it's easy to cut. It, it works uh, like wood would. And um, it may, may even be easier than working with wood because there's no knots and everything's consistent throughout the whole piece that you're cutting or trimming. And I, I think it works out well. I had a hard time initially trying to figure out how to do the roof and the trimmer on the roof. But figured out that as long as you leave a little overhang for the roof, uh, you'll have a lot of options to trim it out. I wanted something that went deep on the side. That would give me some depth, some, uh, give it a masculine look. And at the same time, in the front, it's going to be not as deep. But I like the look. It's kind of hard to find ideas for porch trim and roofs. But here's ideas for some uh, crown molding that I'm not sure I'm going to put up yet. But that's just to give you an idea. Here is some of the beadboard that's going to be used on the roof. Um, the bead running right down the center. I think this is three and a half inch. I'll take a shot showing a piece attached to the roof. Here is the first piece of beadboard attached. And once you get the first piece in, the rest just follows. I'll put up a, a shot later of the roof when it's finished. 